This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry, this is uh, not the normal video that I usually upload. It's a, a bit of a dirty version and I'm also recording the audio from my phone because there's something that I want to demo to you and I cannot basically use my microphone uh, in this case. So today I was playing around with VMM again and also I realized that SNDIO has like a server feature, meaning that a, like a, a client uh, let's say a sound client or whatever can actually put audio there then it will play on the server side and I was I, and I thought with myself okay what can I do with it can I actually combine the VMM with the SNDIO to bring the sound actually to the VMM since uh, VMM doesn't have any hardware pass through and yes actually I managed to do it so now it's possible to actually play a song inside of the or, or play a, whatever a song music anything that you wish inside of the vmm uh, uh, virtual machine for example in my case is debian and then actually have a, a sound to pass through the uh, sndio server and then play so i took it a bit further and what i did actually i installed google chrome so here is the uh, google chrome here this one is actually I use the X11 forward to to be able to run the Google Chrome here. So this is the on the this side. This is the basically the Debian. Uh, I SSH it with the y, uh, YC4, so which enables the X11 forward in plus compression. And uh, I actually went to the Spotify, and I can actually play a Spotify uh, on the OpenBSD. This is of course is a free version, it's not a paid version, so it still is DRM and all. And I can actually play this one on the OpenBSC just fine. You see? And this is this is actually no gimmick. I'm not like playing on my on, on something else. This is the, like really it's it's coming through the OpenBSD and this one this operating system also is OpenBSC so I can do a nail fetch for you so you can see it's running OpenBSD and and if I go to the uh, the virtual machine so you can see is uh, is Debian and then if I do Google Chrome you see the Google Chrome is running there and this is also new fetch in case to make sure that it's Debian so yeah basically this is a very a good thing uh, I because uh, there is no DRM support for any BSDs out there is a, prop, a proprietary piece of code and the, the way I've seen it, uh, people on the FreeBSD and NetBSD kind of work around with it is uh, using the uh, Linux layer compatibility which has been removed from OpenBSD and then they use that one to, uh, to install a, like a browser, let's say whatever, Brave browser, Firefox or anything and then I can watch the or can watch DRM content or listen to the DRM content. I, I used VMM in this case since there's, as I said, there's no uh, Linux compatibility layer on OpenBSD. Uh, the speed of the browsing is not good to be honest. It's very bad and like this is also is not as stable. It's a bit of the hacky solution I put together because at the same time when I use the server feature, at the same time I lose the uh, capability to do any like a normal audio playback on the device or record anything so this is a kind of like a hacky solution together I put, I, I put together what I think it's a generally it's a fun, it was a fun project and I'm, I'm planning to continue it so the thing I used was uh, just quickly going through I have to actually make a, like a proper video out of this one I used this uh, this thing actually uh, Pulse Audio Module SNDIO. This one I think is done uh, initially by one of the uh, uh, FreeBSD developers. Actually, they carve out the part of the Pulse Audio port uh, from uh, OpenBSD port three, and they made this stuff out of it. And how how does it work? Is basically it's just like a uh, it creates a module that you can uh, specify the SNDIO inside of the Pulse Audio as a server. So you don't need to modify anything actually on the let's say on the on the Linux side. Because otherwise, if, if you if you don't have this module, what you have to do you have to go and compile Firefox. You have to compile everything to enable the SMB, SNDIO flag for it. That's uh, what the guys on the Void uh, Linux has done. 
But on Debian, there is no such a case. You have to compile it yourself. And who wants to compile a, a browser is going to take for uh, forever. But this one is kind of sits in between. So like the browser or whatever program thinks that it's writing, it's basically sending the audio to the uh, to the pulse audio. But at the same time, pulse audio underneath it plugs or it redirects that one to the SNDI or server that is running actually in the uh, in the OpenBSD. I forked the repository, I added a bunch of like instruction, it still is not entirely complete, but basically this is how I got it work and yeah, it's like a couple of hours of uh, time I spent on it, but finally it's working. So that's all for this video, have a great time, bye. I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors, Grog with 30 generous dollars, OpenBSD Maximalist, Alexander M, John Lopso, OpenBSD Enthusiast, John Collins, Liquid Mobius, and Rielio Namio. Thank you guys for your help and support.